Hey guys, so we are looking at the Cricut Maker. I got the mint version, um, so the mint will only be here on the top or the lid and the inside of the machine. Um, Cricut does make an Explorer Air where the entire machine will be one color. I did get this for my birthday from my parents. Um, I thought they would give me money towards the machine or something, but they did say they got a really good deal on it. Um, we got it for quite a bit off, so they, I guess, ended up getting me the entire machine. Um, if you've seen my some of my older craft stuff, you will know I do own the Silhouette Cameo 3 already. Uh, I'm kind of sad that I bought it so early because I saw it has come out in different colors that I wish I did get, but that's okay. But I have talked to my, some of my friends who do own a Cricut, um, and I did a little bit of research when I was between the Silhouette and the Cricut when I was purchasing my first one, but they said making stickers and some items are way easier on a Cricut machine than it is the Silhouette. So I guess now I can test that theory and it is kind of why I asked for it since I am kind of getting more into sticker making and products like that for my website. So I figured why not give it a go. So uh, let's just, I guess, kind of open this. I will do a blog post about this as well with kind of more close-up images because I'm not sure how well I'm going to do <laughs> in my normal unboxing setup with this huge box. Um, and I'll leave specs and things like that there as well as probably a final review after a while after I've been using the machine. Um, but yep, you know, we took this. So we get to the top and open her up. So here it kind of tells you the tools you can use for it. So in the box I should have a fine point blade, a rotary blade which is for doing fabrics, and a fine point pen, I guess if you want to sketch on something. And then the compared to the Explorer, more tools are able to be used with the, with the maker. Um, so I'm not sure 100% which tools you can use with it and with not, but there are some additional items you can purchase. Up. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I have my chair right behind me. Sorry if anything kind of goes a little out of focus while I'm doing this. Um. <laughs> I'm like blocking my light up. Okay. So <laughs> I opened it the wrong way. So I have a let's get started. So let me set this aside. And then it looks like you have some little cardboard pieces. And then our machines. Now this machine is bigger than the um, Cricut Explorer too, from what I've read. Okay, and then it looks like we just have power cords. Now this machine should be Bluetooth as well. And it looks like I get two mats. Is that it? Okay. Make sure nothing's under here. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to close this all back up. Re-zoom in so everything will be a little bit more focused. Right, so first two items I got looks like this pink one is a fabric grip cut for cutting. It says matte for fabric only, so I'm assuming the stickiness will be different. So it says fabric grip and light grip. Light grip will probably be great for stickers because usually when you peel them off and ends up like rolling the paper unless you roll the mat off the sheet. Um, sorry, I got like cat hair everywhere. <laughs> uh, so you get the two different style mats, which is nice. Um, cause I know silhouette from what I've been able to tell is just one style mat, pretty hardcore sticky when you just start using it. Um, so it's really, really nice that Cricut comes with multiple, um, grippage or grip style. So that's a really, really cool and nice feature. Um, so again, at the bottom was just our power cord. I love when I get these. These little Velcro type ones. I love this stuff. <laughs> I have a bunch of other like um, my Apple cords um, that I bought. I bought. I do have. I will have to cover these up 
Um, my cat loves to chew white cords. So I ended up buying um, a braided piece that you can slide over cord. So if they try chewing on it, they have a harder time getting to the actual cord. So I've been like covering everything in my house with those. And um, so let's see, we ended up also getting this little box that says, let's get started. One thing I also noticed was different when I was doing so, I watched some YouTube videos, was the Cricut software is just on the web. Whereas the Silhouette software is actual software you download onto your computer. You don't really need internet access to use it um, at all, unless you want to like download fonts or designs. But if you're just loading your own stuff, yeah, you don't need internet at all. So that's one big difference I noticed with this. Unless there is like an upgrade version or something you can buy for the Cricut. So let's see, materials for your first project. Okay. Um, do I have my knife up here? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's cut this open even though it says open me first. Look at the products they gave us. Our first projects. So it looks like we get a fabric square, thick piece of textured cardstock. Love the blue. And just another large piece of cardstock. See, it's slightly, uh, it's about the same as the blue one. So that is it for our products. Open you first. Okay. One, unleash this beauty. Okay. Oh, so it's little steps. Plug in the power for the machine, get it connected, make a little something, bookmark this page, which is probably the website for the design software. Okay. The only thing I'm hoping for is I work in a special um, color uh, setting. Like I don't use RGB. I don't use the CMYK. I don't use any of that because I do third party inks for my Canon. I actually fill the cartridges myself. So I use a special custom made um, color profile. So I'm hoping I'll be able to print with that with this because it took me quite a bit of time to figure out how to do it with the silhouette. So, ooh, that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. So this is our welcome book. So it looks like it's probably gonna tell me all about the actual silhouette and all of its features. What's in the box, making stuff, design space. One thing I loved about this too when I was reading is I can actually like print from my iPad or my iPhone and there's like a little docking station. We'll look at the machine in just a minute. But I guess fonts. I hope I can download my own fonts because I have a lot of fonts that I've purchased over the years. Especially because I went to art school and college. Ooh, knife blade, the rotary blade. Rotary blade, I'm gonna definitely give a try out because I'm working on some custom ATs photo cards and I wanna cut out like a, a flag or something. I don't wanna tell you the different grit mats that they're best for. Tools, which I won't need because I have pretty much probably all the same tools for my silhouette machine. Inserting pens, quick reference, quick guides. Okay, so pretty simple. I know a lot of that just from using my silhouette. So this looks like our rotary blade. Okay, we'll keep it in there. So. Okay, what do we got under here? Warranty, don't care about that. Well, I kind of do, I have to look it up because I do have the um, We Are Memory Keeper quill, foil quill, so I know that does void warranties on these machines. Okay, so let me just set this aside now. So this looks like to plug it into your computer. 
So I guess if you're having Bluetooth issues or Wi-Fi issues or whatever is going to connect it to your computer wirelessly. Uh, so this will be for that. Hopefully I don't because um, I really don't have any more USB plugs I <laughs> open for my computer. Uh, here is the marker. And then this says it's a Cricut Rotary Blade Cap. So I guess when I take this out, I'll put the cap on. Probably just so you don't get cut from it being loose and trying to grab something. So I'm gonna move all this out of the way and then we will bring the machine in and give that a close look. All right, so here is the Cricut. We have a cute little sticker and some wrapping on it. So I'm just going to tear that a little bit. Let's take a look. It's covered in so much plastic. Okay. Here we go. So let me just, oh, where's my knife at? Got some little holes here. This is always like my favorite part about opening new things is taking all the plastic off. It's my favorite part of opening albums too. Okay, Ooh, things got some heft to it. All right, so of course you can only see the top of the machine. So here is the front, it just says Cricut Maker. On the side here, I'll take a picture and just post it up. There is a USB port, like I said, to connect the machine to your computer directly. Um, also, if you have the quill, you can probably plug it in there to heat up the actual quill for the machine. And then here on the back, there's just going to be your plug-in spots. Looks like power and then possibly Bluetooth or something. Of course, nothing on the bottom of the machine. You'll probably also need to use that to update the software of the machine. That's what I have to do for my silhouette. You had to plug it in to update the software, so I should be able to just... <laughs> I just love that. Okay. Oh, uh, that was so much nicer and satisfying than my silhouette, to be honest. Because there's just the tray that sits out and you have to pull it out if you want a little bit more. This is thicker, I believe, compared to the silhouette in space. But I believe, I don't know. But here is the docking spot, so you can put your phone here or your iPad or whatever. There is this really, really cool pattern and texture here on the back. Uh, again, I'll take a picture and post it for you. But like I said, if you can't really tell, the inside of my machine is mint colored to match the color that I have for the machine. One really, really nice feature that I do like about the Cricut as well is these guiding pieces right here. On the silhouette, there's just a divot that pops up that you try to keep it to when you load the mat on. This one, you literally, it looks like you'll just pocket the mat in perfect size and it loads in. So there's no shifting around or any kind of mess ups. And I can kind of see farther in, there are more, probably just to keep the mat straight as it goes back and forth when it cuts. So love that feature. So let me pull this little, wrap off my a button's a little dirty looking you just take this off I was holding this in I haven't found my blade yet but I'm thinking it might be this how do you how does this work I don't even know how to open it I don't know okay let's try this the B side Ooh. Ooh. It opened easy. Yep, and here is the fine tip blade. Okay. Guess you just tuck it in. How does this one open then? Does this side not open? I don't know, side might, might be different. And um, so we have our power button, uh, load button. I believe this button basically says uh, cut what I've sent to you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I usually used to always see like in videos people just hitting the crickety looking logo button. 
Um, and then we have a pause, probably I guess pause the cut if you see something going off or um, if there's some problems going on with the machine making weird sounds. Um, and then here on the side, we have a spot to add extra stuff. You can probably put your pens in here, um, maybe some, I don't know, spare blades or things like that or tools. And then we have a little storage spot here. It's got the same texture. Um, so you can put extra tools in here, um, blades or markers. Um, here, this looks like a magnetic strip. So I'm not sure how the spare blades come. I know for the silhouette, you get the entire enclosure, like you would get this entire thing. But I think from what I've heard, or from what my friends told me for this, the Cricut, you actually just get the blade replacement pieces. So you don't need to get the entire like housing unit again. So I guess that probably helps make the replacement blades cheaper and things like that, which is always a big thing. Because of course, as a business owner, you wanna keep your costs down so you can you know, charge less to other people. Um, so that's probably what this is. So it looks like you can hold maybe a couple fresh blades. So that's really, really nice. I wish this was a little bit longer. That's one thing I've always wished for my silhouette as well. Gosh, fingerprints are destroying it. Um, just because I think it helps make the mat a little bit sturdier, but they probably do keep it a little shorter. Um, I am just gonna be putting mine on a little shelving unit. So this probably would stick out quite a bit if it was any bigger, but let me see if it actually pulls everything up when I close it. You gonna come back up? No? <laughs> How do I close you? Do I just push you up and lock you in? Okay, and then the lid. Ah, then the lid just magnetizes. All right. Ooh. So that is pretty much it for the unboxing part of the machine. I'm definitely gonna hook it up and give it a go and see what kind of stickers I can make. But if you have any great people who know tutorials or great projects or anything like that for the Cricut, just feel free to put it in the comments down below. Or if you wanna see more videos regarding the Cricut, like how-to videos and tutorials and things like that on how I do maybe different projects with it, I'd be happy to do that as I learn and kind of learn with you guys. But that is it. Like I said, I'll be posting a blog post and after I use it for a while, probably I'll probably give it a couple months of testing it out and using it. And then I will leave a final review and maybe I'll even do a post about a silhouette versus Cricut since I do now own both, but I am loving this mint color. <laughs> I am obsessed, but that is it. Like, subscribe and share if you want. And until the next video. Bye guys.